Okay, so first let's talk about trisepatide and the history of like the whole, all of the weight loss medication that has been around. Right. I mean, it, that is actually a journey, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, um, I, I really feel like we've been talking about obesity and how much obesity actually affects, um, you know, our life, especially in the Western culture, That's right? True. I mean, yeah. for a long, long time, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, I mean, we, for the, the talking point from anybody uh, in, uh, in authority, right? Uh, at the end, has always been about preaching, right? <laughs> yes. So we preach healthy diet, healthy lifestyle, right, and exercise, yes. right? It just seems like <laughs> it's hard to find uh, fight uh, the the modern lifestyle and the habit of. You know, I mean, all, all the kind of like uh, the temptation that's out there, right? Yes. That we know Good is cold. out there. <laughs> yep. That is unhealthy. Right? Very unhealthy. Um, but then again, you know, I mean, y you know, you look at what's unhealthy and we still can't identify exactly mm -hmm. what is healthy and what's not healthy. I mean, there's controversy in everything that we actually talk about, right? What we know for sure, though, is over the last, what, you know, 40 to 50 years that we've been talking about obesity, we know that the statistics of obesity and how it affects the chronic illness, uh, you know, in the Western culture especially. But this happens actually worldwide. Uh, and we know that it's been rising, right, despite all the, you know, attention that we give it, or despite all the intervention that we actually try to do. And there has been um, always, you know, some application of um, medically sort of um, supervised um, weight loss programs. Okay? Uh, and there has been national chains, you know, that targets especially, you know, dietary intervention, all with um, kind of, um, you know, mixed uh, results, right? I mean, there has been, you know, some cases of dramatic results, only the problem is, is that you know a lot of times it comes back with rebound, right? Serious rebound problems. Uh, I mean, there, there just hasn't been anything consistency, right? And we certainly, uh, you know, have not been able to blunt the effect of constant increase on a year-to-year -year basis. Okay? Um, there has been medications, okay? I mean, that uh, seem to have uh, some effect, mm -hmm. okay? And a lot of the medication that we've um, been uh, targeting was uh, appetite suppression, okay? And there has been uh, numerous appetite suppressants uh, over the years, uh, mm -hmm. some uh, with uh, some success, mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of them uh, did have uh, some side effects, right. right? That kind of precludes a lot of people from actually mm -hmm. taking it on a chronic basis, right? Um, that, as well as, uh, I mean, it seems like uh, there wasn't anything that was consistent enough that really kind of like motivates people to actually just stand behind it and really give it a push, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, up until, uh, you know, we started actually kind of like uh, seeing the results of these GLP-1 agonist class uh, medications, okay? Um, and it started with, uh, certainly with uh, semaglutide. Semaglutide, yes. Okay. Or they're known as Vigovi, right? Right. So just so that we're all on the same page, I mean, there's a lot of terminologies that's thrown out there. I mean, obviously there's a brand name as well as generic name associated mm -hmm. with it. So just so that we're clear, I mean, it, the semaglutide is the generic name of it. Uh, Ozempic is the brand name that is geared towards the treatment of diabetes. Okay. And Wegovy is the brand that's exactly the same product, um, but a brand that is, um, that is more targeted for weight loss. Okay. On the flip side, the medication that we'll be focusing on today, which is Terzapatite, which is the generic name, um, the the brand name for the diabetes treatment for this uh, 
is the Monjoro. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, and only recently, I think uh, like in November or December of last year, is when it did get an approval for obesity treatment. And that brand name is Zapbound. And I know, I mean, so it's, it's, it's a lot of names. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and, and sometimes they, even I use it interchangeably. Okay? Um, but certainly, I mean, th th there's no question that um, the wealth of data that we've gotten over the last, uh, you know, especially two, three years has been tremendous. Um, and these are um, injections okay, um, that you inject on a weekly basis. Okay? And it's certainly something that, you know, anybody can actually do. The remarkable thing is that on a consistent basis, uh, the treatment of diabetes especially, but also what they've noticed uh, as they were treating the diabetic, uh, the diabetes itself was uh, that it had significant uh, weight loss uh, contribution as well. The side effect of it. <laughs> side effect, or maybe that is the, the reason why the diabetes actually uh, you know, improve so, so much as well, right? I mean, you know, what comes first, right? But certainly, like, uh, the treatment of diabetes as well as uh, weight loss has been significant, okay? especially initially with uh, semaglutide and now with uh, terzapatite, okay? And the weight loss, the great thing about this is, is that a lot of medication that we've used in the past, like I said, I mean, the, 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 the target was really appetite suppression, right? Uh, but this seems to affect uh, in, in multi-dimensional uh, areas, not just the appetite suppressant, okay? But certainly, you know, in the, in the way that, um, uh, that, uh, that affects the metabolism as well, okay? Um, in addition, and which I think is actually a significant uh, actually effect, is early satiety as well. Okay? Like um, you eat a little bit and you feel full right away. Okay? And, uh, you know, I mean, that seems to be consistent throughout. Okay? So in terms of the effect that the uh, semiglutide has is that it's a GLP-1 agonist. GLP-1 agonist uh, is, is that there's a lot of uh, receptors mm -hmm. called GLP-1 agonist uh, receptors uh, that's uh, abound throughout our uh, gastrointestinal system. And uh, the, the agonistic effect at the end really is loss of suppression, early satiety, as well as uh, effect of, of insulin on the metabolism of the nutrients that we eat. Okay. And overall, at the end, it does decrease the AC1 mm -hmm. uh, treatment of diabetes as well as uh, significant weight loss. The terzapatite, the difference really is, is, is that with terzapatite, it is a dual agonist. So not only GLP-1, but also GIP as well. Okay. And the it seems like that dual agonistic effect works better. So they're like synergistic to each other, right? So they kind of um, help each other to help with further weight loss. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, we know that uh, GIP-1 agonistic effect and the GLP-1 uh, agonistic effect, I mean, there's a lot of uh, overlap in terms of uh, the, uh, the overall effectiveness of it. Uh, it seems like, though, because it works in those uh, two realms, that um, it is a little bit more potent, um, and it seems to be much more consistent in terms of weight loss. Now there is enough data where they actually did a head-to-head -head, uh, comparison between uh, the effectiveness of terzapatite versus the semiglutide. And there is no question that, um, that terzapatite, in terms of potency as well as overall consistency, uh, 
in terms of weight loss as well as diabetes control is much more significant. I think I have seen something somewhere that um, semaglutide was like giving 15% of like body weight loss and um, trisepatide can go up to 20% in terms of weight loss in like whoever is using it, which is pretty amazing because well, 20% of body weight, that's... It's <laughs> a lot. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I certainly been. I'm a plastic surgeon, number one. Uh, but obviously, you know, as a plastic surgeon, I mean, we deal with obesity all the time, right? As well as chronic disease. Um, I think um, in my uh, career, right, I haven't seen any medication that actually has such a huge um, reach, as well as consistency and effectiveness. Um, with these GLP-1 agonists like terzapatite. Um, I haven't seen anything like that since, like, Botox, really. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it just seems like it w works consistently mm -hmm. on everyone. everyone. 